everybody, it's Margaret with Texas Gal Treasures. And as promised, I'm bringing you my bread and butter top five or six things that I uh, always pick up, things that I enjoy selling. Um, these are the things that are easy to pick up, usually pretty cheap, and are pretty consistent sellers when I have them. Some, that, some of them are long, what they call long tail, which you might have some longer, but they're cheap enough to pick up, easy enough to list, and they sell, you know, and it's pretty consistent and usually the return on investment is pretty good. Um, so I'm going to jump right in. Some of these things uh, I pick up constantly and some it's just when I find them. So here we go. <laughs> Alright, so one of my first bread and butter items that I always pick up are vintage children's books. I pick these up at garage sales, thrift stores, um, any place I see them. I won't spend a lot on them though. Um, usually maybe 50 cents a quarter. One of the thrift stores I, I like to shop at, their children's books are 10 cents a piece, so I always go through those and pop them out when I find them. And they can sell, I mean, sometimes it's as little as five bucks, but sometimes it's as much as 25 or more. And these are ones that I, I kind of weigh my options on whether or not to send them into Amazon or to list them on Etsy. Uh, and they're pretty standard to, to list, I think pretty easy. Um, I Here's what I do. I find like on Goodreads or A books, I find the summary of the book and I just quote it and I say, you know, this is where I got it, the summary now. Is that against the rules? I don't know. I'm quoting them. Um, but it makes the listing of it pretty um, quick and painless. Put the size, you know, and then I'm pretty standard on like what I say on my condition. I check certain specific things on the condition. The other ones. This was another one, 10 Little Rabbits. And this one sold for 25 bucks. But, you know, like I said, this is one I probably picked up for a quarter. And then uh, Puff the Magic Dragon. These are ones, you know, you can pick them up for under a dollar and sell, you know. They maybe not bring in tons of money, but they might bring in anywhere from 5 to 20 plus dollars. So you add up a few of those for the, the amount of effort you put into. It's not much, you know. It's pretty good. Um, my next... In my bread and butter, I feel funny saying that. Um, and this is a new one for me. Um, it is bar sets, and I've I've picked up this one. And I just picked up another one, and I picked up this one. I think it was three dollars or something like that, and sold for. I wish I wish I had my numbers with me. I think it was like forty five bucks. It, it was a huge return on investment. So I'll have to go back and check my numbers, but. This is another one that goes along with my accordion wall hooks that I'm going to start picking up when I see them. I just picked up another one the other day for $2, and um, it, it sold really quickly, and it was a huge return on the on the investment. And you see them around, and they're just like, I don't think about picking that stuff up. Uh, same, same with these. When I picked uh, these wall hooks up, I think I've sold four or five of them, but every time I see them, I pick them up because you can get them anywhere, you know, one to three dollars is what I've seen. Somebody actually messaged me and said, I saw that in your video and I found one at a garage sale for a quarter. So I'm hoping that she gets the same return that I do. I pop them up, you know, this one I did for $30 with free shipping and they ship for around $8. So you're getting a good $15 or so or more, you know, return on your investment there. So I think that's awesome. My next one is something you've heard me talk a lot about, which are uh, men's accessories. And these have been selling really well for me because before I was just a cufflinks kind of gal, but I started picking up uh, collar pins, collar stays, this kind of thing. This one actually got three of these in a little baggie for a dime and I sell them for $20 a piece. So that's huge. And I've sold all but I think one of the ones that I've picked up so far. So I mean, for bread and butter, <laughs> I'll take it, right? So that's that. And then the, you know, I always talk about cufflinks because I pick them up for pretty cheap and you can get them in lots on um, auctions and things like that. And sometimes you can even, I know some of the guys have been talking about sniping, you can look up um, cufflink lots where they'll have like a bunch of them. And yeah, maybe the lot of cufflinks is 20 bucks, you know, or something around that. But if you part it all out and figure out, okay, that would make it each one like $2 a pair and I can sell them for, you know, between 10 and up, depending on the quality of the cufflinks. 
it's pretty good. So most of the time, and here's another one. You know, this one sold $19.99. And again, I think I got this for a dime or a quarter or something like that. Um, check at your <laughs> local thrift store for this kind of stuff. And then one of them, one of my thrift stores has a box just sits on the counter. They throw all the little little things that they think are trinkets or doodads and it's like a quarter a piece or something. I find things like that in there all the time. So 20 bucks, you know. Same thing here, more cufflinks that you can pick them up pretty easy and they're super easy to ship and you, depending on the quality you can ask the moon for them. And then one of my other favorite pickups are um, costume <laughs> jewelry bracelets but it kind of depends on you know the coolness factor, the funky factor, not just like junky looking ones. But if I see cool ones like this was a cool fish one and um, again I won't spend more than two maybe three dollars um, and then ask, you know, 25 maybe. And some of them take longer to sell, but they do. And uh, that's a good return on investment for, for me. So here was another one. This was one I picked up for a couple bucks. It sold nicely. You know, funky or cool. You know, these wide cuff styles are pretty popular right now. Um, but things change, so <laughs> look out. This is one of my long tail ones. I've had this one for a little while as well. But... Mm, so maybe this is one that everybody knows about. I don't know. But this is something I always look for are vintage characters um, like Care Bears. <coughs> Sorry. Um, so Care Bear mugs or stationery or whatever. Uh, another one that has done well for me lately is Garfield. The cat, you know, if I find Garfield on things, I'll pick him up. And then, of course, I love, love peanuts anything peanuts and snoopy and uh if you haven't heard yet i'm sure you have uh the movie is coming out this year and so you might see an upswing in some of the um things that you find that are peanuts related because the movie's coming out so a few more people might have their nostalgia bone jogged that they go looking for something that they used to have so again my last one over here was another garfield that sold. Um, so these are things that I usually pick up for for pretty cheap that will sell pretty steadily. Um, and, and like I said, this may be something that you guys already know about. It may be something that's new to you. As I was thinking about it, like, well, you know, I started somewhere and when I started, I didn't always know what to pick up. And just through the process of random learning about it did I learn about the men's accessories and how I've been really successful selling those I uh, really enjoy them and then these other things you know the vintage books you know everybody says you know that they, they like you to have a niche or whatever um, but you can have more than one because it's fun that way just kind of what draws me and maybe you've got some different you know items that are pretty steady for you easy to pick up good return on investment. So if you do, share them down below. You know, I'm all about <clears throat> finding out new things and helping helping others out. Um, so, so those are the things that work for me. The bread and butter type items that I always pick up. There are more things that I pick up, but these are the things that I really am drawn to, that I, I find most frequently, that I enjoy selling. And I do sell other things, but those are the ones that generally bring me a pretty good return on investment and they're very easy to pick up and sell. All right, thanks so much for watching. Um, make sure you like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below and find me on Facebook at Texas Gal Treasures. And go out and enjoy yourselves, everybody. I'll talk to you later. Bye.